Okay, guys. So today, inshallah, we have a new selection, and uh, our selection title is Seeker of Knowledge. Seeker of Knowledge. The selection has written by James Ramford. James Ramford. Genre is a biography. Is the story of a real person's life as told by another person. So biography is the story of a real person's life. You tell about real person's life. But this like story told by another person. Question of the week. How can knowing another language create understanding? Question of the week, how can knowing another language create understanding? So again, our selection title is Seeker of Knowledge. It's in volume two, guys. Reading the street, volume two, Seeker of Knowledge by James Ramford. Genre, a biography, is the story of a real person's life as told by another person. Question of the week, how can knowing another language create understanding? As usual, guys, let us know about the author of the selection. So pay your attention and listen to the reader and open your reading street book, volume two, page 117. And let us know about James Ramford. Meet the author. James Rumford. James Rumford began writing books in his 40s. Before that, he worked for the Peace Corps and taught English all over the world, including in Africa, the Middle East, and Asia. He currently lives in Hawaii, where he runs a small publishing company. He handles every step of the bookmaking process, from making his own paper to setting type to printing pages on a hand press. He even binds his books one at a time. The books he prints contain both Hawaiian and English. Mr. Rumford can speak or translate many languages. For seeker of knowledge, he taught himself hieroglyphics. I think all kids are like Jean-Francois Champion, says Mr. Rumford. When they're 10, 11, 12 years old, most of them have a clear picture of what they want to do. Mr. Rumford wants kids to know that dreams can come true with hard work. Okay, guys. So Here are other books by James this Rumford. This is about the author, okay? So it's very important, as, as we used to say, guys, just to read about the author and to know why he or she has written the selection. Okay, so this this like writer used to like travel to everywhere around the world to teach English, for example, as a language and to take different photos and pictures for the um, ancient places. So that's why he decided to write about Egypt or let's say about the hieroglyphics uh, as uh, the language of ancient uh, Egyptian civilization. Uh, because um, th this, uh, like writer, uh, like was um, or is a teacher, okay, and he used to teach like languages and translate into like different like languages. So he taught himself this language hieroglyphics, okay, and he has written like an advice at the end. It's about like uh, wants kids to know that dreams can true uh, can come true with hard work that's why he like has written this selection just to know about the ambition of uh, uh, jean francois and to know why he uh, like decided to uh, uh, know the secret of the uh, hieroglyphic um, like language of the pharaohs or of the ancient uh, Egyptian civilization and how many like uh, times he spent and he suffered just to translate this language or to get the code of opening the gate for the Egyptian civilization. Okay, so this is about 
the author, James Bamford, page 117. Then we have to know the elements of the selection. So any selection has like five main elements of plot and characters and setting and conflict and theme guys as we use to know about each like selection. Then we have uh, to read this page 131. This page is, is very important. You get it before any like selection because uh, you get the help uh, of knowing or guessing the meanings of the new words you have in the selection. So we have this page. Let's listen to the reader together. It's page 131. Bling man. The Rosetta Stone. In 1799, a French army officer found a stone slab near the city of Rosetta in Egypt. On the stone was the same announcement in three different languages. At the top was hieroglyphics, a writing that uses pictures or symbols to stand for ideas and sounds. This writing was used in ancient Egypt. In the middle, was an Egyptian language called Demotic. At the bottom was the Greek language. For more than 3,000 years, the ancient Egyptians used hieroglyphics on their temple walls and monuments. But over time, the language was forgotten. For hundreds of years, scholars were unable to figure out how to read hieroglyphics. Jean-Francois Champion was a French scholar who wanted to be the first to read hieroglyphics. He studied the language his whole life. He was a true seeker of knowledge. He used the Greek part of the Rosetta Stone to translate the Egyptian part. The Rosetta Stone gave him a link between the known and the unknown. Champignon's work was a triumph. It allowed other scholars and archaeologists to uncover the history of ancient Egypt. Okay, so this page, guys, uh, like helps you to understand the meaning of the new words and to know how to make a sentence by using these words. So when you see the highlighted words here, like as the um, new word of our selection, you get a sentence. So each like word in a sentence. Okay, so uh, you read this page just to understand the meaning of these words by yourself, okay, um, through like guessing. So um, when you, uh, uh, I, I always ask you, I always ask you to read it, okay, it's very important this page, it's very important to read it by yourself to guess the meanings and to know how to make a sentence by using each word. Then uh, after that we have like this page, it's 115, page 115, it's comprehension. This page is very important too, guys. This page is very important too, okay? Uh, so it's uh, comprehension about like picture, uh, pictures of the language in ancient Egyptian civilization that they used to make their writings uh, through like pictures, drawing like pictures. They draw pictures or they they had drawn different pictures just to describe their like uh, uh, life and to describe their like uh, uh, their affairs in the day and, and so on. So let's read this like page and to know about it, it's page 115. Page 115. Sacred writing. Picture this. In ancient Egypt, people used a form of picture writing known as hieroglyphics. This word means sacred writing. Hieroglyphics were carved on the walls of temples, tombs, and cartouches, oval figures that contained the names of rulers in hieroglyphics. 
English writing is made up of letters. The letters represent the sounds of the language. Hieroglyphics were just pictures, no letters at all. Sometimes a picture stood for the thing it showed. For example, sometimes meant water. Other times stood for the sound mm, from the Egyptian word for water. This chart shows hieroglyphics that can be used for English letters. Strategy. Look at the chart below. Predict what the passage will be about. Consider the purpose of the chart and how it will help you understand the text. Skill. How does this information relate to the chart below? Skill. Which hieroglyphic can be used for the letter D? Which letters have the same hieroglyphic? Okay, guys, so this is about this page, and it's very important because it describes the Egyptian writing. The Egyptian writing, you know, guys, you can read this language from any side, from left side to like right side or from the right side to the left side. Um, so this like language uh, includes like pictures, as you see here, each picture has a letter in English. OK, according to the language which we study or which we learn. So um, each like picture has like um, uh, like a letter. So would we, uh, for example, eagle, it's it's a hand, for example, it's D. OK, and each like and each like, you know, picture has a number too. OK, so for example, eagle means number one and hand means number five. OK and house it means like letter h and it means number nine and so on so knowing this language so so i want to you know it by yourself guys i i, I want to search for knowing this language and to know like more about it to study the pictures and to know that each picture like means what okay so uh, here for example they have this like picture and this picture like met water and uh, it has a sound instead of it the, the sound mm. and the sound in, in hieroglyphic means water in english the sound means water as we know in our english language or any other like uh languages we have like letters Th those letters like make like sounds each letter in english for example we have has its own sound but in the egyptian like language they have pictures and each picture has like uh you know has uh, each picture has a letter and the letter has a sound and and so on it's like that okay so this is about this page it's very important you have to read it by yourselves to know about hieroglyphics writing then after that we have the cavalry's time we have uh like some new words today. The first word we have, it's ancient. Ancient. This word is adjective. Pay your attention, guys, that we have this syllable in this word pronounced as like sh sound. Ancient. We pronounce as ancient. So pay, pay your attention to the sound here. C-I-E as a syllable, we pronounce it as sh sound. Ancient. This word means of times long past, of times long past. This is the meaning of this word, ancient, it's an adjective. When I say ancient building, it's very old building, it means of times long past. Next word, it's link, link. This word is noun, it means anything that it joins or connects as a loop of a chain does, as you see that, that is a link, this rope or that like lace is a link. So links between like two parts of the chain, just to make a loop. So link is a noun, it means anything that it joins all or connects as a loop of a chain does. Next word, scholars, scholars. The CH here we pronounce as cat sound, cat sound, scholars. 
Okay, and this word is a plural noun. Plural noun means learn people, people having much knowledge. Learn people, people having much knowledge. It's called like scholars, it's noun. Next word is seeker, seeker. This word is noun because of the suffix er. As we discussed before, sometimes we have like some verbs, guys, we want to change them to be like nouns, to be the one who does the work. Okay, so when I say play, it's a verb. Add er will be like a player. So who plays? Okay, um, for example, the, the word teach is, is a verb. You add er to make it like a noun, so it will be teacher. To, ma to make the, the one who works the job, who works the action, who, who are like, who's doing the action. So seek, without adding er, it's a verb. Okay, that means you look for something. So seek, but when you add er, so it will be seeker, change to be a noun. One who tries to find, one who searches. So one who tries to find, one who searches. We call like seeker. The next word is temple. Temple. This word is noun. Temple is a building used for the service of worship of God or worship of God or gods. Okay, that relates to the ancient Egyptian. Okay, so temple. It's a noun, it means building used for the service or worship of God or gods. Next word is a translate. This word is verb. And it means to change from one language into another. To change from one language into another. It's called translate. When you say translate this word, that means like tell me the meaning but in in own your like native language or your mother tongue language so translate is verb to change it from one language into another next word is triumph the ph we pronounce as fa sound guys fa triumph it's noun and it means victory or success victory or success it's called like triumph it's noun. The next word is uncover. Uncover. Okay. It's opposite to cover. So uncover, it has the prefix un to give the negative. That means not cover. It's verb and it means to make known, reveal, or expose. These are like different like synonyms for the word. Uncover, it's verb and it means to make known, reveal, or expose. Okay, so anyway, you will have a dictionary at the end of your book, guys, page 478, if you want to check any meaning for any word. Question of the week, how can knowing another language create understanding? So we have ways to communicate, purposes, types of language, features, people, converse or inform, sign language, symbol, scholar, motion, represent ideas, trail, pictures, scientists, publish, understand the past, ancient languages, letters, teachers, intellectual debate, um, instruct, and words. These are like the way of understanding or create understanding for any language you have. Okay guys, so right now let's practice the words together, but first of all let me send these like um, words through that subject group just a second so get ready guys to pronounce the words by yourselves so i'll pronounce the words one more time so pay your attention please okay so the first word is okay the first word is ancient ancient this word is adjective and it means of times long past of times long past ancient so you have to look at the pronunciation of the word as as i discussed guys the syllable like ci we pronounce as sh sound okay next word is link and this word is down and it means like anything that joins or connects as a loop of a chain does okay one minute. 
Okay, so the next word is link and it means noun. It's noun, okay? And it means anything that it joins or connects as a loop of a chain does. Next word is scholars. This word is a plural noun. And the syllable CH, we pronounce it as can. Sound, scholars. This word means learned people, people having much knowledge. Next word is seeker. So after adding the ER as a suffix, so it, it changed the meaning, guys, to be like, uh, uh, it changed the meaning as we discussed to be like a noun. So seeker, it means like one who tries to find one who searches. Next word is temple and it's noun, it means building used for the service of or worship of God or gods. Next word is a translate in its verb. It means to change from one language into another. Next word is a triumph. It's noun, it means victory or success. Okay, um, next word. And the last one, guys, it's uncover, it's verb, and it means to make known or reveal or expose. Okay, these are like the words of our selection for today, guys. So right now, let's pronounce the words together. You have to practice by yourselves, guys, the words to know how to pronounce. Okay, uh, Mohammed Fahad. Yes. Pronounce. In search of time, long past. Lying, anything. Link. It's not lying. It's link. Link. Anything that coins or connects as a club. Of a chain, yes, yes, yes. Next one, I can't remember a more warm sunny summer day. It is so large. Learn Fabulous. people, people having much knowledge. Seeker mm -hmm. on how. Trees to find one how she simple building used for the surface or or Yasin Nadal. Yes, Mr. Okay, Yasin, pronounce. Ancient. Ancient. Of times, non past. Then, in, in that joints are 
Pictures as a lot of a shape does. Scholars. Mm -hmm. Scholars. 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 I explain that. Scholars. Huh? Learned people. People having much, much know, mm. knowledge. Mm -hmm. Seeker. One who is to find one. Searcher. Simple. Mm. Building for the service or of good or good. Translate. To change from one language into another. Drive with sorry. Such as. Uncover to make no reveal it was. Okay. Thanks, Yasin. Pay your attention, guys. You know how to pronounce, please. Yes, Mr. Mm. Ancient of times long past. Link anything that joins or connect con, connect as a loop of a chain does. Hmm. Such, uh, such scholars, scholars, I explain that. I explained that, guys. I said, pay your attention to that. That we have a sound for that part or that syllable in the word. Huh? Scholars. Learn the people having much knowledge. Seeker. One who try, tries to find one who search. Temple. Build it. Building use for the for the service or worship of good or goods. Translate to change from one language into another. Trump mm -hmm. victory suck. Success, success, uncover to to make non reveal exposed. Okay, uh, Ali Wahid. Okay, Ali. Ancient of time, some past thing, anything that joins or connects. As a loop of a chain of color, learn people people having much knowledge. Seeker, one who tries to find, one who searches. Sample, building used for the service for which ship of God or good. Translate to change. From one language into another. Triumph. Victory success. 
uncover, to make known, reveal, expose. Okay, very good, Yali. Yes, I mean. Yes, I mean. Yes, we start. Hi, uh. yeah, yes. Yes, I mean. Abdul Aziz, Abdul Aziz Aish. Yes, Mr. Okay, Aziz, huh? Ancient of times long past. Link mm. anything that joins or connects as, mm. he, as a loop of a chain does. Mm. People, people having much knowledge. Seek mm. one who tries to find, one who searches. Temple building the service or worship of God or gods. from one language into another. Triumph, victory, success. Uncover, to make known, reveal. Okay, very good, Abdul Aziz. Karim Islam. Mr. Means anything that joins up the world as a loop of ten dollars. So long. Let me see him. If you have one who tries to find one who is sending you for the service or worship, God, calculate to change his language. Mm -hmm. Story success and uncover to make one read. Okay. Very good, Yakari. Mohammed Muawiya. Yes, Mr. Mohammed. Antend of times will pass. Like anything that John. Or connect as a lot of a child does things a scholar. Learned mm. people or people having much knowledge. Seeker. Tries to find one who searches temple building uses for the service of worship of food or food. Translate to change. From one longest to another. Friend. Scissor. And cover. To make no. Now. No. 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 Yes, Mr. Ancient of has been very old, like Tretat. Hmm. Uh, link anything to join or connect to the sculpture, let having much knowledge. Triumph, 
Okay, very good. Alal Yusuf. Yes, Mister. Yes, Mister. Answer. Ancient. 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 Of times long past. Link. Anything that joins or connects as a loop of a chain does. Stroller. Stollers. Mm. Learned people, people having much knowledge. Mm. Seeker. One who tries to find on who searches. Temple. Piling was for the service of worship. Of good or good, translate to change from one language into another. Trump, victory sources, and cover to make known reveal exposed. Okay. Abdullah Mishad. Yes, Mr. Okay, I'm done. Of time long back, link. Anything that joins or connects out a loop, a chain. Colors. Learn people have much knowledge. Speaker. Speaker. One. Bandar Saleh. Bandar Saleh. Answer. Tamir Jabali. Tamir Jabali. Yes, Mr. Hey, Tamir. Hurry up. Read. Accept of T. Times long, long past link anything that Johnny Jones of or come connect as a loop, loop of a Pain does cool, cool, coolers learn people, people have everything, having made. Ling, bowling, bowling, knowledge, kill, 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 one of who Drives to run during fight one who search temple uh, 
Bounting. 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 Used for the surface or portion of good or goods. The straight translate straight translate translate to king from one lingon linguin into another trail Victor vexes an anchor uncover to mix make count no rail raven expos okay thanks atamir and pay your attention atamir please um bandar saleh <clears throat> bandar Yes, Mr. Rebender. Okay. Did? Yes. Uh, ancient of times long past, past link uh, anything that Joins or connect at a of a any any voice does scores. Scholars. I wonder. Hmm. Learn. People having much knowledge. Knowledge. Seeker mm -hmm. on oh, oh, tries to find one who searches to pull building use for the or worship to or or God translated to change from one learning language into North another friend friend 
directory. Success. Success. Angerbird. Mac. Known. We will. Expose. Expose. Okay, thanks, Yabandar. Very good. Uh, Hazim Tahir. Hazim. Yes, Mr. Engine of time long past. Link in the doors or connects as a loop of a chain does. Scholars, learn people, people have a much lower people. One who tries to find, one who searches. Temple building used for the service or worship of of God or God. Translate to change from one language into another. Time, victory, success, uncovered to make known, reveal. Explode. Okay, thanks, Hazen. Very good. Mohammed Ashraf. <clears throat> okay, Mohammed. Again? From where? From where? Okay, okay. I sent other options along long and I can't hear anything, Muhammad. I can't hear anything. What? I can't hear anything. You have a problem in your internet. Okay, sorry, sir. One. One. Okay, Mohammed. Okay. Thanks. Yes, I mean. Yes, yes, Mr. Read your yes. Of time, no long past. Think, think, anything that joins or connects. Okay. Two words are enough, yes. yes. Thanks, because time isn't enough. Halim al Fadl. Halim. Hamoud Fahad. Okay. So, right now, guys, let's open page. Uh, 
I think it's page 282, but let, let me check. Okay, so um, yes, page uh, 282, guys, and, and you'll read the writer's book. Please open it and solve it and, and send it through that subgroup. The meanings of the words you have, guys, and the group. So solve this page, 282, and your notebook. Okay, this page solved it and it through the WhatsApp group, please, guys. Okay, Ali Wail. <laughs> okay, excellent, Ali. Get him a song. Check number three, Karim. Number three. Number three is not seeker. To make known, to reveal, to expose means what? Means uncover. So fix number three is not seeker. Okay, Karim. Very good. But just just fix number three. Make it make it uncover. Number three is uncover.
ياسين نضال So the word uh, seeker, seeker Yasin has double E. Where is the second E? S double E. Okay, good Yasin. Okay, good Karim. Abdul Aziz. Okay, very good, Abdul Aziz. Is it Dean? So number eight, yeah, is translate. Where did the R? This is R or L or which letter is it? Please fix it. Translate. And uh, by the way, uh, it ends in E. There is E. You missed the E. Translate. Fix this word. And um, and the word ancient, fix it. There is N after the A. Number nine, fix eight and nine. Pay your attention to your writing, guys. Tamir Jabir, ya Tamir, ya Tamir, ya Tamir, send your send you writing i want to see your writing your handwriting this is what i want to see it okay so next time don't send this picture and and and, and you type on the on the laptop or computer or whatever just send your own handwriting please abdullah mishar Okay, Abdullah, very good. Okay, who's else? Who's else, guys? Muhammad Ashraf. Okay, very good, Muhammad. Qais Firas. Okay, very good, yeah, Qais. Okay, guys, so. Okay, so those are the answers for this page. Bandar Saleh. Okay, good day, Bandar. Okay, guys, so time is up for the session. See you, inshallah. Have a nice day and goodbye, everyone.